We have several crews covering this today. We've learned COVID-19 has hit one of Jacksonville's Amazon warehouses where at least one employee has tested positive. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci joining us from the Pecan Park Road Fulfillment Center where that employee works. Vic? And we confirmed that with the company hours ago. Their spokesperson telling us they are doing everything to make sure that it does not spread to anyone else inside or outside of the warehouse. However, employees here are concerned. Behind me, there are hundreds of calls. This center is staffed 24-7. Basically, in fear for my safety, um and my own immediate family safety. Uh, my mom, my mother takes chemotherapy and I have a grandmother. She's a senior citizen, of course. Um, and I just feel like I don't want to be bringing anything home to them. Employees at Amazon's Jack's Two Fulfillment Center tell us they are scared. We received numerous anonymous calls and emails over the past day after at least one associate tested positive for coronavirus. We don't know who these people are or what they've touched. This 855,000 square foot facility, which operates around the clock, has more than 2,000 full-time employees. This afternoon, the company confirming to us one tested positive for COVID-19. We are supporting the individual who is recovering, an Amazon spokesperson said in an email. We are following guidelines from local officials and are taking extreme measures to ensure the safety of employees at our site. News for Jax has learned that person was last working at the Pecan Park Road Center on March the 18th and is now receiving medical care and is in quarantine. Amazon managers are tracing back who that person came in contact with to see who else may have been exposed to the deadly virus. Any person sick or exposed will be told to quarantine for 14 days with pay. I toured the center when it opened in 2018. Employees had separate workspaces as they handled and boxed orders. However, health experts say the virus can live on surfaces for up to several days, which raises concerns about packages shipped out. The company telling us it is cleaning the facility more often and taking strict measures to distance workers. Still, that is not enough for some of the staff who reached out to us, wanting the entire facility to temporarily close. I think the company should send us home and disinfect the building. And look, demand is up drastically for people using companies like Amazon.com to get their shipments to their homes so that they can self-isolate and so that they don't go out into public. That also means that there are more jobs. So Amazon, including right here in Jacksonville, is hiring. But according to that spokesperson, almost all of their interviews and that job application process is done online and through video conferences. We're live on the north side. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station. So Vic, a lot of people go through those doors around the clock. How do they keep them clean? Well, they are trying to let people come in earlier or leave later instead of the normal shifts that you would have when everybody would come at the same time and leave at the same time. They have also limited some of the access areas. They've taken the break rooms. They've spread out the tables and the chairs and they say they clean often. Plus, every employee is required to clean their workspace or their work vehicle because a lot of them are going out in the community and making those deliveries at the beginning of their shift and at the end. All right, Vic Michalucci reporting live for us tonight. Vic, thank you.